Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Blackburger back again. That's right, two episodes in a row. That's right. Uh, sorry about the audio quality. Last time my mic was acting up. This time I did get another mic that I had laying around before, so it's gonna be a little, little less audio quality. But that didn't make sense grammatically. Don't forget about that. So we're gonna have a gameplay. It's gonna be my first crap-ass team. This is straight out of the box. This is the team I got. Uh, with the free promo packs of pre-ordering and on top of that I got like some legacy packs or whatever The only card I did buy was Ryan Shazier. He's a 90 speed inside linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers rookie The guy's a beast, but he has that 90 speed like I said and I like to use the, the uh, inside linebacker uh, a lot So I'm gonna be using that. I don't you know have any good linemen. I seen this guy's team He has a pretty good defensive line So it's gonna be interesting to see my 57 overall left tackle against Jared Allen uh, I think that's pretty much going to be the biggest downfall to this. And first things first is our first offensive snap in forever. And let's see what we can do with, yeah, Jerome Simpson. And he's going to take it to the house. That's it. Ain't no stopping him. Ain't no stopping me. No. That's right. He's made a touchdown. Feels good. We're already up. I'm feeling pretty cocky. Uh, I want to know Ryan Shazy with a big boom. It's pretty awesome to see some of the Pittsburgh Steelers out here uh, laying down the boom, you know. The gameplay overall, I think it's pretty good so far. I have no complaints, although the tackling is a little difficult, and you're going to see later in this video. Uh, I'm not doing live commentary. I'm kind of post-commentary mixed with a little live in there. Uh, I haven't figured all this, this technology out. It's a little different than it was before, but yeah, as you can see, perfect example. I need to learn how to tackle. Goddamn, it's terrible. I got to go back to my fundamentals and see what I can do. The tackling's different. I noticed that. The ball hawking. It's a little bit different. Uh, the overall feel of the game is a little different, but overall, it's, it's still Madden. You're still gonna get those bullshit ass things, and and you're still gonna play pretty hard. So right off the bat, I'm up 7-3. We'll kick the field goal. I'm not worried about it. But I have X wide open. I just seen that right now. It's terrible. So I wanted to bench Johnny Manziel because I think everyone and their mothers has Johnny Manziel. And do you believe this shit? I don't believe this right now. I don't believe this. It was it was a screen pass and screen passes wasn't working and look at this he throws it straight to the ground and it's a fumble it's, I guess it you know he meant to throw it back I don't know you know I have no idea what the fuck happened there he has Michael Vick he has uh, Doug Martin as a running back he's a pretty good team he obviously invested some money in, you know the burger way I don't like to invest money into a game that's you know not gonna carry over I made that mistake a long time ago when I used to spend a lot a lot of money on Madden Ultimate Team and then realized it didn't carry over for, for crap I would still end up on the next year's Madden with some shitty ass players so that was pretty annoying I'm not gonna do that I'm, I'm in the stakes I'm, I'm your broke man uh, game plan you could tell right there interception you could tell that it's a broke team I'm gonna start using this hashtag balling on a budget as soon as I get better at this you know I don't count me out I'm still in this game 10-7 throwing a couple of picks but like I said I have Blake Bortles over Johnny Manzio and I really need to learn how to tackle I really do I, I can't figure this out uh, Blake Bortles over Johnny Manzio Johnny Manzio's good and all but I think everyone has him and you know I'm, I guess I'm against popularity and tackling boom right there fumble honestly it should have been uh, what was it called incomplete pass but it was a fumble and you can't challenge plays on ultimate team so I'm not gonna cry about it I think he nano blitzed me there too it's pretty crazy he was hitting me with some kind of cheese. I don't really know what. I mean, I guess you can call it an excuse or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I know I'm going to bounce back. This is my first game. I've been playing a lot of NBA 2K. I got Lewis Nix right there, big defensive tackle. And literally, I can't tackle for shit, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't even know what to do here. Like, I got to go back to school and learn how to tackle. And right here, he's going to hit me with that bullshit ass uh, fourth down. I mean, I get it. The game's getting good. It makes sense, especially for Ultimate Team, but it, it has been a while since I've been gone. I haven't touched the Madden since forever, man. I've been playing NBA 2K. I played, you know, the Destiny beta and all that good stuff, and I, I, that's my that's my pretty much my main excuse. I am bad at this game right now because I'm a little rusty. Uh, Blake Borders will be back, and I will start winning some games. I do get rocked. That's pretty much, you know, end story. I, I, I lose pretty bad and because of stuff like this. I mean, that's an incredible pass, but... In Madden it looks nice, but I'm, I'm very upset that that actually happened. I have Charles Woodson back there, free safety. It's my highest rated card right now, and, and I can't believe that that happened. Now check this out. This is terrible. I got the prevent defense because he's running the three wide on the right and then the one left wide receiver, but they're all spread out like they're going all Hail Mary, and he runs the ball because game flow is going to put me in that situation to have the prevent defense. So I didn't catch it the first time. Obviously, he's going to hit no huddle and jump back into that, that same formation and see what he gets. 
He is Michael Vick, so I wouldn't doubt it if he tries to scramble or anything, but I, I was very upset at this point. I had already lost the game, but he was just trying to add insult to injury, and that's kind of embarrassing, but that's what you get when you were messing with me. Don't ever count me out of a game. I'm always going to be in there. I used to call myself a fourth quarter surgeon, but, you know, Blake Bortles is playing pretty bad, so I, I think I'm going to have to draft like Tim Tebow. If Tim Tebow was in this game, he'd be my quarterback throughout the whole freaking Man Ultimate se Team seasons. But don't ever count me out. I'm going to be in here. I'm going to come back. I'm going to win. Maybe not this game. This game's a little out of out of, out of of story, especially since he has such a good team. I mean, there's a really big cutoff between bad teams and good teams. Uh, and you, you really can only do as much as you wish you would like to do with your team. That didn't make any sense, did it? That's not even the point. The point is I got my ass beat. I'm no excuses. Uh, I got to, put you know, put some time in the books. and Or not really books, but in the training camp thing, whatever they have going on, and see if I can figure out how to win this next game with Blake Bortles. He is my starting quarterback for the next one. And that, at this point, I didn't even care. And then, on, you know, on top of this, this is just this unsportsmanlike conduct right here. This is this is not very good sportsmanship. You know, I would take the take the loss, but, I mean, you're just rubbing it in now and rubbing it in pretty good. But I get it. You won. Props to you, Mr. Painkillers. Uh, and to leave you off with this video, he's going to give me some bullshit like this. Yeah, Danny Amendola just mossed two guys. Whatever, man. This is the same Madden. I'm going to love playing this game. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to follow me at Twitter at BlackBurger, B-L-A-K-B-U-R-G-E-R. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.